All right then, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know the stream went down and I didn't announce it, but it came right back up. All right. So I still have this Prometheus. I'll use that for um, the Arcadian Endeavor plotline, which I'm. Well, I might as well get the Hakiva plotline over with as well. Let's see how much cargo space that small ship they give me has. Tacoba. So I'm pretty sure my pretty certain my Tacoba does not have a lot of room. Now. This is strictly a combat ship. very fast combat ship, but yep, just a combat ship. Ooh, I will also need a dedicated... Uh, well, I'll deal with that as the uh, plot line comes along. I also need another different uh, small ship for a plot line. Entering system, a Tikva's choice. I'll probably use the uh, the node end for that. That'll be fun. Ides, Vanguard, Argon Trading Station. So anyway, the, the next little bit will be pretty self-explanatory. Trade deal's been confirmed. That will be all. <laughs> Please come in. I apologize for the state of the place. Things are rather hectic at the moment. We've signed a number of promising new trade contracts, but circumstances have left us spread a bit thin. Green, we have an issue with the inbound ore fighter. I hear you, doll. I'll be there in a minute. It seemingly never ends. We've prepared a freighter for you to fly over to one of our new partners. Honestly, as long as you can deliver those goods on time, I'll be happy. If you do that, the ship's as good as yours. If you screw us over, well, the worst we can do is revoke your docking privileges. Sorry to cut and run, but there's something that needs my attention. I look forward to seeing how you do. Oh, that was kind of funny that she was floating in the air when I walked in. <laughs> Actually, I can just uh, jump over to my Tacoba real quick. Where's the other ship at? Uh, probably on the opposite side. It's on the whole other docking bay. <laughs> That's, fine. That's the ship. We'll grant you access now. Take good care of her. We don't have much in the budget for repairs. Now this is uh, just a little quest ship. Usually you can't put um, pilots on quest ships while they're being used in a quest uh, past a certain point. So I'm not even going to try to throw a pilot on this. I'll just do it myself. It doesn't take that long. Autopilot engaged. And I'm still waiting to uh, have both of my stations constructed. So it's not really a lot to do except for keep advancing the storylines. So that's what we'll do in the meantime. We'll wait to get an economy rolling.
I'm also get a I will also get a small ship with a bunch of container storage. That will be a magpie. Uh, Requesting magpie. entering system. Silent witness. Let's see. That'll be a magpie sentinel. As a matter of fact. So Vanguard won't have well, it won't have a lot of storage, but it will have some. But the Magpie Sentinel will have a little bit more. Let's see how much they'll charge me for it. Oof. 1.4 mil. Oh, Autopilot disengaged. Hull part factory. Requesting. Requesting immediate backup. Successfully docked. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Hello there, Captain. I understand you're delivering goods on behalf of Hatikva. Please stand by while we run some checks. Hey, we did ask you to stay put. Anyway, the delivered goods were fine. Carry on, pilot. Requesting <laughs> immediate backup. It's funny that he, that, that voice line popped up. Autopilot engaged. Um, so yeah, the Ministry of Finance wants a bunch of money from me for that ship because I don't have any relation with them. Whereas the Alliance of the Word, I actually almost had... Oh, they want even more. Well... They want even more because it slapped on that Entering weapon Entering right system. There. A choice. And I guarantee the Ministry of Finance wasn't going to give me one of those. Yeah, I don't need... Yeah. This shouldn't get into a ton of combat, but that'll also be fine for that. <laughs> I don't need a mass driver for this teeny tiny little ship. Just a pulse laser will do. <laughs> Look at how expensive that is. Two million dollars? Down to you. A million dollars. Basically. Uh, no idea why I need a targeting computer. There's no turrets. Um, I will be scanning a ship with this, so I might as well keep that. I'm not going to do any exploring. Autopilot disengaged. Um, with that ship, there's nothing. There's no sectors to explore with that ship. I have better ships available. Um, I won't need Marines. Some service crew sounds nice. That way I can start leveling up a little bit more crew. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. So now I have a courier ship that I'll take over to the Arcadian Endeavor. And now I have this little ship, which doesn't have a lot of container storage, believe it or not. So I don't Argon prefer... Argon Trading Station. I told you this could happen. Captain, good to see you back. Ah, this must be the new recruit. Things went smoothly, I take it. This is Dalbuster. He's been helping us in our efforts to expand our business. 
That's one way of putting it. As you may have heard, a, a Tigva freighter was destroyed earlier today. It seems that the Scale Plate Pact don't like the idea of us going clean. Unfortunately, this is what happens when you act on bad intel. That's something we're looking to improve on. If you're willing, I'd like you to help us. Our goal is to break all ties with Scale Plate while making sure they don't continue harassing us. Easier said than done, but with the right preparation, I'll have them eating out of your hand. I'll be on my ship. I look forward to working with you. He's nothing if not confident. So, what do you say? Glad to hear it. I'll let Dal know. Just follow his instruction and you'll be fine. Why don't you go chase Dal down? I'm sure he'd want to show off his ship. Hmm, Ali is a little funky right now. I wonder where they parked Dal. But now I have this ship that I don't want. The Castillo Sentinel. I'm kind of worried about the Xenon taking over this sector right now. But they should get repelled. So that's a free half a million dollar ship right there that I can just get rid of. It's got a unique paint scheme, but I don't prefer that ship at all. All ex-military personnel, please report to Med Bay 6 for bioweapons clearance. Ouch. Ah, Captain. Welcome aboard my ship. She's a beauty, isn't she? She's equipped with the best surveillance and computing technology around. And you couldn't ask for a better crew. Handpicked them myself. So, what can I do for you? Eager to get started. How about we give you a nice, simple task to begin with? We need more information regarding scale plate supply lines and distribution methods. Anything to help us in predicting their movements and behavior. It's also something the local law enforcement would be interested in knowing. You'll be acquiring that data from one of their stations. For that, you'll need a computer worm to confuse their security protocols. Lucky for you, we can have one prepared in no time. Hmm, you'll need a nimble ship. Perhaps a scout. Just in case you need to get out of there quick. We'll send you the worm program when it's ready. Right, cool. I believe that's a mining ship. Let's take a look at it real quick. <laughs> that's a drill. <laughs> that's a Hectiva drill, though. Greetings. So it's now. produced by the pirate factions and the anti gun republic. Okay. Tacoba. We've uploaded the worm to your ship database. Don't worry, it won't do anything to your systems. The safest method of delivery is through an external vulnerability. You can usually find some on poorly maintained stations. We leave it up to you which station to target. Just let the program do its thing. So when you're doing this mission, um, he says you can pick any station you want. Most any er, anybody new to the game isn't gonna know which station to go to. Well, because you can pick any one of them as long as it belongs to the scale plate pack. But you're gonna be wondering where you can find scale plate pack stations because there are not a lot of sectors where they set up shop. So we're gonna head over to Silent Witness. And then into the neutral sectors. They're white because they're not claimed. And this will usually be where Entering system. SCA Silent stations witness. are. Usually the most. Requesting immediate backup. 
that's the where the most common SC stations are. So if you're wondering where to go for this mission, uh, just right over here. Literally one jump or one jump gate away. Short highway ride and a jump gate and an accelerator and uh, there you go. You have an easy target. Entering Silent Witness 11. Mm. Hive Guard. Oh. Oh, there's two more stations over there, too. <laughs> High tech factory. So as you can see, this is a scale plate packed station, and it looks like they're making. I can't remember what. Use your ship scan mode to look for any data leaks. If you have any spacesuit EMP mines, you can use them to expose further leaks. Okay, so one tip is uh, do not use your spacesuit EMPs for this mission. It does not take that long to find a data leak. It doesn't even take very long to like look at this whole station. So yeah, if you want to waste an EMP mine on this, you can go for it, but uh, those are a little bit harder to craft, not too hard, but those are kind of rare, and you will be needing a few of them to uh, steal blueprints if you want. That's what I'm going to use them for anyway. So I am flying around just looking, but I'm also listening, and then I'm looking at the center of the screen for uh, that. Um, there's a little scanner indicator to let you know if there's a, a signal leak nearby. Oh, they're making matcha snare snails too, and they're making uh, swamp plants. That's that's awesome. And it looks like they're making the requirements for the space wheat. Oh, there's a signal leak nearby. In this direction, I believe. On the left. Somewhere over there. Is it up or is it down? It must be up. There it is. This is Dal. We're getting data from the worm program. Good work. Now get out of there safely. So 
I believe it launched uh, defense drones at me. Just treat it like you were uh, zooming through a xenon sector. Just activate your travel drive and leave. It's funny. There's also a cage cave flying around the system, terrorizing. This them. is Reen. We've had another freighter targeted by scale plate. No cash. Turn Vanguard. Seems that we have a new mission. I already have something in mind. I'll send you information on the materials you'll need. Hmm, don't I already have two spacesuit bombs? Not my Terran station's being built. Or the solid storage, so it's gonna be ready to accept um miners real fast. So I will need to come up with some funding to go uh, build the miner too real quick. That's not a big deal though. I'm looking for Do I not have two spacesuit bombs? <laughs> it's funny. I'll loot the under uh, spacesuit equipment. <laughs> I don't. Used all my secure containers on um, uh, EMP bombs. <laughs> That's fine. I can go over to the Hakivich Freeport over here. They should either sell me some or have like a. What I'm also looking for is the other way to get secure containers if you're trying to craft a whole bunch of, say, EMP Freeport. bombs, spacesuit bombs. Docking whatever. granted. There is an easier way to uh, get a bunch of secure containers, and that's to destroy security ships. Successfully docked. So basically, police vessels. And if you've been paying attention to the ship types that swarm the station, so civilian ship types, uh, you'll notice that one of the ship types that swarms or is a civilian ship around the station. Can I is help? A, uh, police. Here vessel. you go. So if you blow that up, you'll get. Um, Secure containers. I think I got 10 of them last time. So I probably shouldn't sell these, but I need some funding to build some mining ships. Um, these can be used for missions later on, but I already have plenty for later on missions, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm not getting rid of lodestone. That's one of the things you'll need for... Uh, spacesuit bombs. I'll need unstable crystals for later, but I won't need it that many of them. I'll keep the eggs. The remote detonators I won't need a ton of either. Well, might as well keep them. In case I want more uh, spacesuit EMPs. Uh, these processing panels, I do believe you can use those for crafting some security system bypasses or slicers or something like that. I don't ever really use these, but they are valuable. Oh, he doesn't want to buy this because my rep's not high with him. <laughs> Whatever, so these just sit in my inventory until I can figure out how to sell them. Usually, but I'll just raise my rep with Hakiva eventually and... By the time I do that, because that's very low on my list of things to do, that would like be like end game stuff when it won't matter and money won't matter. I'm looking for spacesuit bombs or secure containers, and I'm not seeing them. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go hit a different uh, station. <laughs> Good luck out there. Why is the audio all over the place for this?
There we go. Tacoba. Hmm, that's much better for me. <laughs> Buzzard Sentinel. <laughs> A buzzard still after me? Okay, come on, buddy. Civilian ship A. Let's see if I can't get a station security vessel mad at me. Buzzard Sentinel. I'm not sure if this station has a whole bunch of weapons. Oh, it does. Hide behind the station, use it as. Even the weakest hatchling can survive that. We cannot tolerate your actions. Stop your attack immediately. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell sector security about it. Started this. <laughs> Maybe he'll give me a security or a secure container. No, nope, he gave me a programmable field array. Even better. Those are worth quite a bit of money. See, there's another pirate base out there that I can just go look at too. Uh, I wonder what these stations are real quick. Or I could probably just land at either, any one of these as well. Technically, all of these are uh, pirate bases, and they all should have at least one trader's corner on them. So these two are making space weed. Pharmaceutical goods factory. Docking granted. <laughs> no security vessels. Which makes sense, but still. Can I help? Here you go. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so I will have to go to the dedicated pirate bases for uh, good for a profit black market. to you. And unfortunately, I don't know where any black markets are right now. Tacoba. I guess I could stock a ship uh, leaving this sector and find a black market like that huh? if they end up trading for any of the illicit goods in this sector. But uh, let's go. Let's get our first uh, mining ship ready to go while we're autopilot engaged. So, I have a station ready to start uh, mining, basically. I will need a station manager. That's pretty easy to get, actually. So let's see what I got. 
engineering and morale, but no management skills. That's okay. Another engineering and morale. So these guys will keep my ship repaired if I take it, or they'll repair my ship slowly if I take damage. Everybody else is on the Prometheus. Entering I'm going to take my... Witness 12. I'm intentionally t picking my worst... Um, crew available to make manager of that station. And then I will switch screen and switch back. So a little update and reflect that he is a manager. And now I will common... Can I help? and give him basic seminar and then one star seminar. Ooh, I even have a two star seminar if I really wanted, but I don't want to use that on him quite yet. So now he's actually a good manager. And the reason that's important is when I assign ships or mining ships to that station, they'll use his uh, rating or his management rating to determine how far out they'll go for trades or mining. Autopilot disengaged. Actually, I can set up a global order here for blacklists. And I want to set up a minor or a mining activity uh, blacklist. So let's go for let's just call it asteroid belt mining. name it whatever you want. I set it for a sector activities so like well it says right there in the pop-up trading or mining so this is gonna be mining I'm gonna check restrict all sectors but uh, asteroid belt should be at the top because that's where I want the mining ships to stay inside of. So now when I, er, not yet, but now this black list is set up so that only ships assigned to this black list will stay inside the allowed sectors, in this case, the asteroid belt. And then they won't go wandering off halfway across the galaxy when I set them up to a uh, mine or auto mine, I should say. So that's a useful global order because then I can push it that down to the station level or down to the individual miner. And I'm going to set that up uh, real quick after I Pirate here. base. So now that I've got that blacklist set up, okay, now I can start setting up what I want in this um, station. So I want to mine silicon and ore. So I'm going to go select those from station tradewares. And now that I have them selected, I will create a buy offer and I will uncheck the Q station setting and instead restrict everyone else. I only want my buy offers for ore and silicon to come from my mining. So I don't want to, I don't want other, because if I don't set this up like this, everyone else's miners except for mine, will come in and sell their ore to the station. And I don't want to do that. I'll lose money instead of make money. I want to do the same thing for silicon. So now, when I assign 
uh, miners to this station. It will buy the ore off of the miners that I assigned to the station and it'll buy the ore from the station account and put it back into the station account so I won't lose any money but it's just a interaction to get the ship to come to the station and drop off ore and then go back out and mine more and then I didn't create the sell offer and I didn't I didn't uncheck automatic pricing because that'll keep my miners coming to my station and uh, when they're set to auto mine to the station they'll either come sell to my station to put it in storage or if they find a better price while mining they will go and sell it to another station so uh, that's how that's set up but with that blacklist I set it up really strict so they'll only stay inside this uh, they'll only stay inside the station while they're mining and I need to set that up uh, actually too and that's in a different menu so I'll show that off real quick so this is how to quickly set up a uh, you know just get an economy rolling get some basic funding in Um, now drones, it'll bug you about restocking drones. You don't need drones right now. Uh, I don't have a pier. So cargo drones will be for, well they're used for a couple of things, but right now cargo drones will be used for large ships. And then defense drones, of course, in case your station gets attacked a lot or often, which this one shouldn't. And if it does get attacked, the Terrans should be all over anything that comes into uh, this zone because this is their only real resource zone. So if anything comes in here, it's going to get attacked by the Terrans. So I don't really need a whole bunch of defenses and uh, I don't need uh, cargo drones right now. So those are just expenses I don't need to uh, worry about. Uh, now that I've got that set up in the logistics overview, you're going to have to set up the logistics overview for every station you build including Grand Exchange's station, so once that dock module gets built, I'll do that one as well. Actually, I'll look at that right now too, because it's going to need a storage module to do research. And you already start out, when you start the game, you start out with a small container of Argon variety, not Terran variety. So the resources it will need are just your standard Commonwealth resources. So the way to set up your research station as this will become, oops, there we go, confirm the changes first, then hit accept estimate. And now since there's a builder already assigned to this, uh, it'll stay around and build this the uh, container as well and then the manager should get trades coming in for this so this will finish eventually the important part is uh, when you do research if you make energy cells on the station so if you set up solar panels on the station which is a good idea so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will show you a very good thing to do when you do that. I'm just going to throw on two solar panels. It doesn't really matter uh, what orientation, what they look like. I don't know if I have a ton of funding right now, but I can get more. So I'm not really worried about it. I'll fund a million about it. About a million. And those will eventually get built. But now when I go into uh, the logistics overview, I'm going to be producing energy cells. And when I assign a trade ship to, well, I can't click on that just yet because <laughs> it has to finish building first, but uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Now I should be able to click on it. Hmm. 
Hmm, I can't set up trade rules because this isn't being nice. Uh, that's fine. I can just talk my way through something else. Let's say advanced electronics. Why not? So we're going to pretend that this will be the energy cells drop down, so I can't access the buy and sell offers. Uh, so if you put production on the station, but you want to get research done. So what will happen is if you assign a trade ship to this station, if you don't set up any rules, what will happen is the trader will, it's just looking for um, good trades. It's just looking for good trades. So if you're making stuff at this station, it's going to take your product out to another station and then look for a product to bring back. And usually that product is not going to be uh, what you want for your research. So that's why it's not recommended to make this a production station like I'm doing. Now, actually, energy cells are fine because some of the research does take energy cells. But you need to keep in mind that you need to set up some trade rules. So if you were paying attention earlier, I set up a blacklist for uh, my own faction and then uh, restricting my own faction. Here's where you're going to use that trade rule. If we're pretending this is energy cells, like I will do up here when the uh, one of the solar panels completes, uncheck this box, go down to restrict my faction. I don't want to restrict any other fraction from coming and buying energy cells. I would like a little passive income, but I don't want to let my traders go and trade, uh, or I don't want my traders to give away my energy cells. I want other traders to just come in and take what they want, and I don't have to worry about assigning traders. So when I restrict just my faction for sell offer, uh, that'll make it so that they're not taking uh, resources that I make from my station out to another station. They're just going to be looking for uh, what the research is asking for. And the research will automatically put trade offers in this screen. So when I do that, uh, that gets rid of the problem of shipping out my energy cells. When I put a trader that is just here to trade for resource go uh, research goods, it'll just strictly focus on that and not what I'm producing at this uh, station. So I hope that was uh, a good explanation, you know, clear as mud, but hopefully a, a better explanation than that. So if you're in your game, if you're stuck on trying to get research done and you're producing from the station, you can set up uh, this trade rule for each item that you're producing and then hopefully, and then your traders will stop selling your product your products but it will allow the npc factions to still come in and buy from you you still want to make some money but it will restrict your traders from selling your product and then it, that trader will then move on to looking for stuff to bring back to the station so uh, i'm going to remove this now because <laughs> it's not a it's not something I want just yet. And I'll deselect it here. And there we go. All right, so when energy cells gets made, uh, I'll go over that. I'll try to uh, think about how to explain that better again. But uh, that's how that will work for now. I have plenty of money to uh, fund that. I'll just go steal a ship or something. Yeah. Plenty of money. And then this will get built up and then give me some passive income. Which would be great. Now for this other uh, for this other station that's going to be a mining outpost. Uh, this is ready for, or it's almost ready for. Uh, 
probably shouldn't be doing both at the same time. Someone's going to get confused when they're watching this. This is a separate station, not a, uh, the research station. And so I'm going to be buying from my own mining ships that will be out in this sector mining. I'll have to go um, appropriate some ships or, uh, or build some. Or buy some from the dock, I should say. But uh, there's another... Um, Let's see here, there's another uh, blacklist that I want to set up, and that's in this menu here. And that will be for the sector activities. So when I assign that to the station, what that will do is that's now the station manager, that's their rule that they're going to use for um, any sector activities in this sector that um, when I assign a mining ship to this station, which I will eventually, they'll mine for the station, that rule I set up will make it so that they won't wander out to go mine like a, they won't go wander out into Getsufun and get blown up by the Xenon just because they're trying to go get a slightly denser resource patch or they won't go out all the way out over here. They won't go wandering across the universe looking for a very slightly better resource patch to mine instead of staying in sector where it's got plenty of resources to grab. And uh, I'll go show off this blacklist in the global orders menu real quick as well. So this is how it's set up. Restrict all sectors, just stay in the uh, Asteroid belt there, and then it's uh, sector activities. Oh, this is blocking trade ships as well. Hmm, that's so I might have to go through and assign individually per ship. That'd be neat. Actually, I won't have to do anything because I won't need to assign. Tra well, I read that my NPCs won't bring or won't trade uh, with mining ships, so I will need to expand the allowed sectors. And think about that. That's okay. Uh, let's get a mining ship going in there and I'll worry about that in a second. Sure. Yep, just a minimum preset ship. It will need a mining drill. Those aren't very expensive. Uh, the differences between mining drill this does more damage, or Mining Drill Mark 1 will do more damage, or Mark 1, sorry, will do less damage to the asteroid. And how NPC miners work is they will shoot the asteroid till it blows up and then explodes all the materials inside the asteroid outside. So you can go pick them all up. So you're looking for mining drills that deal more damage, or more mining damage. And there's only other one other option, so that makes it easy to mark two. And it deals two times the damage. So that'll increase the speed at which your miner will mine. Mm. I'm not going to be flying this ship personally, so I don't think a docking computer matters. Uh, this isn't going to be an explorer, so... That doesn't matter, and I'm not going to be scanning other ships of this ship, so this choice doesn't really matter either, so just cheap out on all of them. Uh, there's no real weapons on this, <laughs> so targeting computer, not needed, and a uh, trading computer, if this is just going to mine, also not needed, which it is. Now then, the only other interesting option to speed up your miners is actually to add service crew. It will speed up your miners 
very slightly. And this is just a small miner, but it's what I can afford right now. Um, let's see what if I can get a medium. Medium miners are the fastest miners. And, uh, oh yeah, I can get a medium miner. Cool. So medium miners will, uh, in general, mine faster than large miners and return much quicker than large miners. And, uh, the, the large miners are actually, they're slower than medium miners, but they're also, um, was the, the the throughput the amount of goods that you can get through is is also lower than uh medium miners only slightly though they're, they're like neck and neck but the the medium miners just barely edge out how much throughput they can get through versus large miners so the reason the reason you'd want a large miner versus a medium miner is because of all of the extra defense that the large miner has. So a large miner, or large shields in general, have no recharge delay. And usually large ships will have uh, uh, an insane recharge rate as well. So their ship, their shield will be constantly regening. So it's going to keep them safe from anything like a KHK attack. A large ship will be completely immune mostly from a KHK attack because they, their weapons won't deal enough damage to uh, even puncture the recharge delay. Or not the, re the recharge rate, I should say, of the ship. And then the... I believe I can just set this up as a pure miner and it'll be fine. And then I'll have to go uh, make some money somewhere. So there we go. One mining ship coming up. And then I will need a second mining ship, so I am going to need to make some more money. But I can actually just use that one ship to start making profits with. That's fine. All right, I just uh, I just used all the money I was gonna buy a space suit bombs with. <laughs> Guess I'll deal with that as uh, we go along. Can I help? Here you go. Let's see here. What do I need for your space suit bombs? Or I can just craft some. It's not like that big of a deal. And it looks like I'm going to have to. Well, thanks for nothing. <laughs> well done. I have been watching your progress with much interest. Go. When you dock, see if you can access any of the internal structures from an elevator. Not cool. That means the next step of the uh, player HQ plot is ready, which means money. And I'll show you what I mean when we get to that. <sighs> Let's see here. I want to... I don't want to sell that necessarily. I don't want to sell any of my ships, really, because I can. They're all useful in their own ways. I could theoretically sell my Tacoba, but mm, I don't really want to. Spacesuit bombs. I should look at the recipe real quick while I'm at a station. I think I'm out of secure containers. Pirate base. 
Oh, it just took off. <laughs> Bear with me here for a second. Was there a second trader's corner here? They have two docks. Yes, they do have a second trader's corner. So maybe this won't be a waste of my time right now. Let's check the crafting recipe anyway. Uh, spacesuit bomb needs secure container. Okay, so I'm, I know where to get those anyway. I'll just have to go jump out into a... Uh, Can I help? Here you go. Regular space. Oh, look at that. He only has one. And it'll be almost all of my money. So I will be crafting those. <laughs> That's okay. I don't think I need targeting modules. Oh, hey, those are worth a little bit of change. Cool. Good profit to you. So I need to go get some that secure containers so I can craft. And uh, that's it's actually easier than you think it is. All of these things, once you figure out where to go get them, are actually pretty easy to get. I just need to go to a station that has security vessels. Any station with security vessels. Vessels. Well. Autopilot engaged. Ooh. It's been a long day already. Oh, that mining ship should be ready to go start mining for me. So now if I've set everything up right, all I need to do is right click, uh, take the miner, right click on the station, and hit mine for commander, and it will stay in this sector, actually we can look at it now that it's assigned to the alpha. Entering silent witness eleven. It's individual orders. We'll look specifically at the blacklists. It's using the uh, no fly zone for xenon sectors, so I made that blacklist previously, so I set it up to so that civilian ships do not go fly into enemy sectors. Right now I'm only enemies with the KHK, which don't claim sectors and the Xenon, which do claim sectors. And I guess I have enemies with the, du the Duke's Buccaneers, but they also don't have a, a sector claimed either, so no big worry there. So that's why I named it No Xenon, because the Xenon claim the sectors they're in. So I won't fly through any of those sectors when it's traveling around. And that can be useful to uh, not get your ships blown up. Clearly the Talati don't use this, they like to go through the Xenon sectors and get blown up. Um, also the split too. Oh. Autopilot engaged. Right, autopilot's having a tough time there, bud. I will ruin you. <laughs> Autopilot disengaged. Entering Silent Witness 1. Hey, cool. I need a break from talking about blacklists. It's like making my head spin. Not really, but. Uh, I don't think defense stations are crewed. So I'm gonna go look at this station for sector security. Or uh, station security, I should say. I might lose some rep, but uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take. 
There won't be a whole lot if I do. The station getting mad at me and blowing up my ship might be a little more worrisome. But that's why I have good shields. Oh, I probably noticed a uh, there it is, a criminal vessel. Um, this is a perfect example because civilian ship A. I'm gonna blow up a civilian ship or just shoot at it. A sector or a security vessel. You can see it right there on the map. Argon Station security vessel. We'll come out and investigate the shooting. And you might be wondering why are these these vessels showing up on your uh, little radar there. And that's because they have... Stop your attack immediately. You will now suffer the consequences. This is sector security. Comms channel open. Reporting an attack against this station. Mm. Confirmed. Criminal record has been updated. Thank you. So that should have dropped secure containers. But I think it dropped something else. <laughs> and now there's an elite vanguard that's mad at me somewhere. Let me just check and make sure I did get what I want. I didn't. Cool. I know I did that earlier. Uh, I did get what I wanted. Argon so. Station security vessel. I'll try this again. Container. Oh wow. It's just dropping random loot like everything else. Cool. Well, I thought I had it figured out where to get secure containers from. I'll shoot another one. Argon Station security. They already vessel. reported me, so I'm not gonna lose any more reputation. Just gotta be careful not to shoot the station or it'll get temporarily mad at me. Known shoot. criminal identified. Please container. Argon Station security vessel. Container. Oh, come on, just give me what I need. Argon Station security vessel. Container. There it is. Secure container. Four of them. Argon Station security vessel. You know what? Just to add factory. insult to injury, I'm just going to land at this factory. Oh, look, there's a criminal vessel right there. Civilian right ship there. A. Claytronics container. Cool. So I just blew up security vessels, these little civilian security vessels around the station to get uh, secure containers. Eventually, a couple have dropped out of them. I just go craft two spacesuit bombs and I'm ready to go for the next uh, part of the mission. Hello, can I help? Oops, Good luck bomb. out there. I want the crafting station. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just gotta think twice for uh, blowing up a criminal after after killing their security forces. Feels good. A. 
Entering. Silent witness. Eleven. So if you're wondering where to get other crafting material for um, when you have to uh, make spacesuit bombs for missions and stuff, um, you can get all of the crafting materials save for lodestones from the battlefield. So battlefield wreckage, basically. So the, the freighter should be here shortly. You'll need to attach the mines to the freight transfer ports. Let's just hope that you're not seen. So the Xenon are uh, attacking a sector, and they're fighting back, and a whole bunch of ships are blown up, and it's got tons of loot around. Just fly in, loot all the, loot all the things, and fly back out, and eventually you'll pick up crafting material you'll need to uh, make things like spacesuit bombs. And then lodestone's even easier. Uh, all you gotta do is go to one of these giant space rocks that are just spinning around, eating all of your FPS, and shoot some of the uh, the shiny ones when you turn on your scan mode. Specifically, the silicon is well. I should probably give an example, but in the middle of a mission. You better get out of there. We'll handle the detonation. Docking granted. Might as well do that here because it takes a really long time for this freighter to dock. So, uh, to go get lodestone, lodestone's very easy to get. Uh, when I turn on scan mode, you'll notice asteroid. that this asteroid turned orange, and that's ore. And I've had, I haven't had a good luck with the. Uh, the ore asteroids getting lodestone out of them, but this asteroid turned asteroid. blue, or highlighted blue, meaning silicon, and I haven't had a lot of luck with silicon asteroids. Plus it's just easier to look at the spots to shoot. So um, when you first turn on scan mode, it'll highlight some of these regions, this color, this orange color. When you shoot those, It'll create a dense chunk of silicon, but it'll also create other drops, usually spacefly eggs or lodestone. So if you're having trouble looking for lodestone or spacefly eggs, and you got some time to kill like I do, just sit here and cycle on and off scan mode at a blue silicon uh, asteroid until you get some uh, highlighted zones to shoot and then uh, pick up your free loot basically it might take a second And eventually this asteroid will blow up or run out of uh, silicon. But there we go. You can see the things on the radar now. There's two little drops. There's unstable crystal and there's lodestone right there. So that's how you get those materials fairly easy. So if you're wandering the whole galaxy looking for materials to make spacesuit EMPs because you got some blueprints to steal. Uh, I've shown you how to get secure containers and how to get lodestone all within like 10 minutes <laughs> of each other. So yeah, very easy to get those resources. You just got to know where to look. And then remote detonators usually can be found from uh, battle salvage, or if the Xenon are basically fighting in a sector. Just go fly in, loot the battlefield real quick, and leave. 
You don't even have to fight. Every time you blow up a ship, it drops a little bit of loot for you. So you could even get that combat yourself and uh, get loot that way. Go fight a whole bunch of Xenon ships. Set up a trap for the Xenon to uh, fly out of a gate and into a million laser towers. That's actually a fairly efficient... Now, let's sit back and watch. That's an efficient way to get um, crafting materials as well. Sending remote detonation signal. I wish I could skip this. <laughs> Get on the line. We need backup now. Teladi Station Security Vessel A. Oh, well, the scale plate five does have security vessels. Now that the fun's over, <laughs> let's get back to the task at hand. We're looking to gather intel on the scale plate higher ups. These are the people we're going to have to negotiate with. Now that we've shown our teeth, maybe they're more willing to listen. We're about to chase down a lead. You and the other ships will have to be on standby for any opportunity which arises. We're assigning you a sector to patrol. If something comes up, we'll let you know. Teladi Station Security Vessel A. So, um, if you're already going and blowing up security vessels for loot, most specifically secure containers to craft with, you might as well pick on the scale, the uh, scale plate pact because you can't lose relation with them. Well, not until way later in the game when you complete a uh, a mission project for. Her. Something you don't even know that that's a reward. So when you when you do a terraforming mission for their home planet, then that unlocks relations with skill plate. Oh, why is it invulnerable? <laughs> Teladi Station to Security. <laughs> Teladi Station Security Vessel A. And it didn't even drop any loot. Teladi Station Security Vessel A. Teladi Station Security Vessel A. Teladi Station Security Vessel A. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and do that for very much longer. Autopilot. It is funny though. Engaged. How is my mining vessel doing? So it's mining. It's mining ore and silicon, because that's what the station is. Entering silent witness one. Asking for. And it's already delivered a load of ore. I don't think I put any money in. Not that I need to, but. The reason it's asking for way more money than it should be is because it's trying to or what the the thought process is is 
the automatic storage allocation is then telling the buy order to it, it's telling uh, Entering system. the buy order Optic to fill the choice. container all the way up so if I set this down to nothing then the buy order won't fill up the storage which I want it to do but I've only allowed my ships to sell to the station if I didn't do this all of the other ships in the sector would come and sell to the station and then I would lose money out of my accounts but since I'm only allowing my ships I'm only buying from my ships and my ships don't take away money from me so yeah uh, so yeah the reason why it's requesting an unreasonable amount of money is because it's got a autopilot it's actually got a small cargo st or a small solid storage on it so if you imagine if you put a large um, storage on it you would ask for a couple million instead of just about one million because it's trying to fill up the storage right now. Captain, our lead got away. They're heading your direction. Target Gamma 3 is approaching the gate. Understood. Sorry to put so much on you, but we're spread thin as it is. You'll need to follow and observe this ship. I'm sending you coordinates. to sabotage me right at the start. <laughs> You'll be exiting it. the gate shortly. Remember, don't get too close. We don't want to arouse suspicion just yet. If you lose the ship, we should be able to track it down, but we may miss something crucial. Estrel, Sentinel. Comms channel open. Goodbye. Nova, Vanguard, Estrel, Sentinel. <laughs> oh, my lock box. Could have predicted that would happen.
Hmm, guess that's my loot now. That's surely gonna take someone off. Good. Let's get Nova, Vanguard, Quasar, Vanguard. Oh, no. Nova. Looks like that lockbox was left for these guys. So fight or flight, I leave it up to you. Dump that cargo. Oh, my man. I just want this to be over. I see you can handle yourself in a fight. Quasar, Vanguard. Oh, I should have went after this one first. <laughs> oh right, I bought the, uh, I did buy the Argon police license, which means when, whenever I destroy an enemy in a uh, Argon space, not next to a station, or, or just anywhere in Argon space, I don't have to be next to a station, I mean, uh, I will get a reputation bump. It will increase my reputation just destroying enemies in Argon space now, because I have the police license. Where normally you have to be directly next to a station. So that's the benefit of buying those. Uh, plus they'll pay me more for destroying the enemies. So that's nice. And I tend to do a lot of fighting in Argon space. Estrel, Sentinel. Seems that our quarry has had previous encounters with local law enforcement. So, where are you heading, pilot? I happen to be a production specialist. My client is awaiting my arrival. I would give you a sample, but I seem to be out of stock. These scale plate pilots certainly are bold. The scans came up clean. You can continue. Much appreciated, officer. If our target is known to the police, I should be able to get access to her records. Best if you don't ask how. They've moved on to the next sector. You may need to pick up the pace. I'm waiting right here because I don't want the quest to bug out, so I'm waiting for all the voice lines to finish before I move on. Sometimes the quests break if you do things too fast. Entering system, Morning Star. Uh oh, heads up. That's close enough. So, are you police or perhaps Hatikva scum? Oh, 
They're calling us Hatikva scum now. That's good info. Keep them talking. Do not insult my intelligence. I know you have been following me. I am a proud member of the Scale Plate Pact. Do not interfere. Always nice to see someone take pride in their work. Our lieutenant has better things to do than entertain you. He will bend you all to his will. That confirms that the lieutenant is a male to Lottie. Let's regroup and go over what we know so far. An arena, mineral, sentinel. Hmm. I need another mining ship. Oh, actually, this is the wrong. Um, Autopilot engaged. This is the wrong ship to be stealing uh, ships in anyway, so. Well, I'll let them go for now. Entering system. Atikva's choice. Oh. Autopilot. Disengage. <laughs> Auto Entering system. Morning star. Entering <laughs> system. Hatikva's choice. Because of where the uh, station spawned in. Autopilot's going to be a little confused on that one. <laughs> Argon trading station. Drill. Mineral. Sentinel. Argon Trading Station. Good to have you back in one piece. This certainly has been a busy day. So, what have we learned? Our new friend here is worth every credit you're paying him. Our target was involved in making drops of illicit goods. Hopefully, your actions will send a message that we're not playing around. Our quarry is also known to the police, who may be a valuable source of information. Hmm, <laughs> that's at least something to go on. I'm rather content with the data we managed to gather. What do you suggest we do now? The time has come to approach scale plate. We'll have a few words, learn what they desire, and then leave. And then what? It'll be up to you to achieve your goal. I can only suggest how to do it. I have a feeling this is going to cost me. Everything will work out fine if you follow my instructions. Let's go see the bad guys. All right, I am going Tacoba. to take a break. It's been a there's been a couple hours. Um, I will be back in half an hour, forty five minutes. I just need a short break, grab some lunch or grab some dinner. It is getting kind of late for me, and um, yeah. So I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching.